Time to prepare one of my favorites in the school cafeteria. Yep, we're really stepping back in time here. I'm going to be making American Chop Suey, so stand by. We're going old school today. We're, we're reaching way back there, and I'm talking way back there. I'm talking, hey, do you remember the... Uh, school lunch cafeteria and some of the some of your favorites a couple of my favorites two of my favorites from high school or middle school whatever school i was in back in the day i don't even know did i go to school yeah i went to school and uh well two of my favorites were shepherd's pie and american chop suey now it has a couple other names american goulash um creole macaroni in the navy and I'll tell you what, when, you, when Creole macaroni was on the menu, sailors were talking about it. They, they just had to have the Creole macaroni. And uh, then it has its cousin, Chili Mac, is, which is just as good, almost the same thing. And sailors just loved it. I'm not sure if the officers liked it too much. They never, they never got too excited about uh, American chop suey. But that's what I'm going to make today. And for the first time on my show... Um, I'm going to actually make it in a uh, pressure cooker. That's right. I'm going to cook it all one pot in the pressure cooker. I've never done this in the pressure cooker before. I've watched videos on different types of uh, pastas cooked in the pressure cooker. They all seem to come out. We're going to give it a try. If they don't come out, we'll see something. We'll see something else. <laughs> we won't be seeing this. Anyways. Um, let me go over the ingredients real quick of what we're going to be putting in this Creole macaroni, American chop suey, whatever you want to call it. And why do they call it chop suey anyways? Because chop suey is like Chinese. And anyway, American chop suey, we Americanized it. Pound and a half of ground beef. I have a, uh, what is it? I don't even have my glasses on. 15 ounce can of uh, tomato sauce, just the plain tomato sauce, pizza sauce, not spaghetti sauce, plain tomato sauce. I got the uh, I guess 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I have one onion, one medium sized onion, sweet onion, chopped up, diced up. I have one green pepper, diced up. I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, two cloves of garlic that I've minced up. I have a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I have some of my own seasoned salt here, which my seasoned salt is basically salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika. So that's what's gonna go in. I'm gonna get the, uh, oh, I forgot. I also have three cups of coffee. You could use beef broth, you could use beer. With this, I'm going with the coffee. I've used coffee in other recipes before, like chili, comes out really good. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a winner winner um, Creole Mac dinner going on. Oh, I forgot too. <laughs> I got the, the macaroni. I got one box, one pound of macaroni. How can I forget the macaroni? Macaroni. All right, so. And get this stuff out of the way we'll get our pot set up and we'll get cooking all right to get started I'm gonna go in and I'm going to put eh, about a quarter cup of olive oil in the bottom of my pan I'm gonna let that heat up and what we're gonna do is saute my onions and my peppers and my garlic so we're gonna let this heat up and then we'll start uh, adding our ingredients all right, I'm going to add our onions. Our peppers. Give this a little stir. And we're just going to saute this until it gets translucent. Then with our garlic. All right, so we're getting uh, getting there. Just about time to add our ground beef. 
And uh, this is 80-20, uh, 80% lean. So you could use uh, turkey if you want, ground turkey. So this is going to break this up and keep breaking it up. And we brown it off. And I'm going with my little breaker upper tool. I love this thing. This works great for breaking up ground beef or ground turkey or ground whatever. A nice good job at this. Right, we'll let that brown up a little bit and we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the beef was looking pretty brown there. We're going to go in with the remaining ingredients. And uh, we're looking pretty darn good. So in goes crushed tomatoes. In goes our tomato sauce. In goes our onion and garlic powder. Our Italian seasoning and nutmeg. My seasoned salt mix. And uh, going with our coffee, three cups. And I forgot to mention, I also like to add a little sugar when I make my, uh, I've got like a tablespoon of sugar in there whenever I make a tomato sauce. It just cuts down on the acidity a little bit. So we'll give this a good mix. It's all nicely mixed. And now we go in with the macaroni. And I'm not going to mix that in. I'm just going to kind of push it down. Get that submerged. There you have it. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid on. I get it on right. Make sure I set to keep the uh, steam in there. Steam. Uh, Steam closure valve is set. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and I'm going to reset it for 10 minutes and that should automatically start. There we go. So we have the lid on, it's all set. It'll automatically count down once the pressure is uh, built up in here, it'll start to count down count the time down and uh, all we got to do now is just wait for it to wait for the uh, timer to go off and we'll uh, be ready to check her out all right we're back and uh, time is up I'm just gonna unplug this move it over a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick steam release and uh, we'll get this open and we'll try it out so get this over here be very careful when you do a quick steam release on your uh, pressure cooker you don't get blasted with steam. There you go. We'll release the steam. There's a little valve here that will drop down once the uh, pressure has dropped low enough for us to open up the... Uh, I pr you probably can't even hear me right now, so I don't even know why I'm trying to talk. Alrighty, the steam dissipated. Check valve has lowered. We're able to open up the lid. Time. Ooh, this is looking good. It is smelling good already. And this, let's give it a little stir. I use extra large elbows because I thought they were cool. They look cool. And it looks like it uh, came out really good. It's nice and thick. The uh, starch from the noodles thickened up the sauce. And there you have it. American chop suey. So I'm going to bowl some of this up and uh, we'll give it the taste. So before we get into tasting, I'm going to do the shout out, our episode shout out. And this shout out is to anybody or everyone that ever stood in the school lunch line or the chat line aboard ship waiting for their American chop suey Creole macaroni 
or American goulash or whatever you want to call it from wherever you're from. You know what I'm talking about though. Y'all stood in that line with me. This was one of my favorites and I'm sure there's a lot of favorites of uh, yours out there. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese to this. This is a Monterey Jack Colby. I have a little bit of Parmesan here as well. And there you have it. And uh, wow, look at this, huh? Whoa. I wish you had some. You're going to go make it now, aren't you? I know you will. All right, here we go. I'm back at Springfield High School in the lunch line or in the chow line and uh, wow this is really good super simple one pot it doesn't get any easier than that it really doesn't so hey if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe most importantly share and right over here go ahead and punch on my logo and that'll be a quick uh, link there to subscribe to my channel. So until next time, thank you and we'll see you later.